Hi everyone. Hello. In today's video, we are going to share with you some of the scenes from food and restaurants here in Fortaleza. And the first restaurant that we have come to is this beautiful place here called Zoy. Z-O-Y. I'm going to just get up, go around and show it to you. They have this sitting area basically that is outdoors. Inside also you have uh, more sitting area and tables if you want like AC and uh, more pleasant weather because also it's very hot. We decided to stay outside because of this beautiful setting that is here. This uh, side I think is for uh, more for events and there is also this area here with water and people are even doing water activities but this is right next to the restaurant that you can come and just sit there here also is another sitting area that you can sit right by the water and look at this my god we saw some of the pictures online and i was like oh my god we have to go there and try this place it's absolutely beautiful before it gets dark i just wanted to also go inside and show the inside of the restaurant as well so this space is air conditioned so it's much cooler beautiful setting a full bar over there <laughs> and the sitting also the lighting my god it's amazing this place i love it beautiful beautiful setting right by the water even at night i'm sure it's going to be a very very intimate beautiful place Just to start, we ordered gin tonic, pasta moly. This is an appetizer with eggplants and kafta. I would be, I would be interested to see how the kafta tastes. Like. But um, this one with eggplants already looks very delicious. Enlighten us. <laughs> I'm trying the kafka with the sauce. The sauce is really good. Yeah, yeah. Is it kind of like a tzatziki or it's labneh? A mix, uh, it's a mix, a mix of tzatziki and... Um, labneh with uh, cucumber, like yeah. a yogurt with cucumber. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It looks like it. I'm going to definitely try it. And then the eggplant also, it has uh, tomato sauce and cheese on top. Looks also very delicious. And for kafta, there is this pita also, kind of a pita bread and mix of um, pickles. So, let's go for the tasting of eggplant. <laughs> yeah? Don't go wrong with eggplants, no? Amazing. It's always good. We love eggplants. All right. Let me take care of the business here. <laughs> so, for main dish, I ordered salmon with pasta. And Mariana ordered moussac. Right? It's a Greek dish. A Greek dish in Brazil. Wow. Stylish. <laughs> it's a 
sophisticated people. Me, I just go with a piece of salmon with pasta. <laughs> it looks beautiful though. Wow. We just finished dinner. It was five drinks, two appetizers and two main drinks. <laughs> two main dishes, sorry. Mariana is still working on her drink. Um, the drinks, of course, uh, during the happy hour is they're cheaper, but everything with the 10% service fee that we always pay, it was 335 reais and 28 cents. So just to give you the total price, we usually try to give you all the total at the end for everything that we eat just for you to have an idea about the price and also how much it costs. I'm also, while I'm talking, I'm also showing you the restaurant at night because when we came, it was not this dark. And I want to try to show you also at night how beautiful this place is. Really, really nice. the restaurant we decided actually to come to the shopping mall to show you the shopping mall which is the biggest shopping mall actually here in Fortaleza it's called Iguatemi and there is also a nice uh, place that we want to go to have dessert when we get there we'll show it to you there is also I think at least two uh, food courts that you can find in this shopping mall. So while we are doing the food and restaurant video, it's also good to know that even when you come to the shopping mall, the Iguatemi shopping mall, you can also uh, have access to a good selection of uh, restaurants. We're gonna go from here just to show you here the green area the sitting area there's a lot of coffee shops as you can see further down here you can also come with your pets pets are allowed i don't think in the food court but other parts of the shopping mall pets are allowed This coffee shop also, I really like it. It's called Copenhagen. They have amazing coffee and chocolate. It's one of my favorite. Also another restaurant here is Outback Steakhouse. Apparently it's an Australian steakhouse. I had no idea actually uh, about this restaurant, but we had it back in Goiania also. And now the place that we came to the shopping mall for is this nice little stand here that has baklava which is a turkish sweet turkish delight and they also say that they have turkish coffee i'm gonna see if they have a turkish coffee as well and we're gonna try some of the baklava that they have here they look absolutely delicious typical Turkish coffee 
and we're going to get the Izmir one, which is a Kirkish coffee with cardamom. And I believe they make it here, which is like hot sand, and they prefer the coffee. And we're going to get a selection of baklava also. This is a rare find in Brazil because in Middle East, even in like North America, you can find this um, very frequently. In Brazil, unless you're in Sao Paulo, other parts that we have been to, like Goiânia, Maceió, we really didn't find anything like this uh, that we wanted to try. So we really missed this because in Montreal, where we used to live, there was plenty of uh, places that you could find very, very good baklava. The way it works here is that you choose the items that you want and you pay by the weight. Baklava. So this is how actually the Turkish coffee is made. The sand is hot and then they pour water and the powder and it, ha it, it gets hot and then it becomes, uh, it starts boiling after a while. And that's when the coffee is actually ready to to be consumed. So, this is our dessert. Beautiful plate also. Yeah. And the selection that Mariana chose. Plus, the coffee itself. Amazing. And... Mariana told me that the sweets, as I mentioned, it's by weight. So per kilo, you can choose anything from the selection that they have. But per kilo is 244 reais. And the coffee itself was 25. So for us, the sweets and the coffee, they were 69 reais. Just the dough inside, but she said that there is uh, walnuts. Walnuts, yeah. oh, okay. Walnuts, I believe this one has dates inside of it, right? The small one, yeah. And then this is with pistachio, this is another kind of like normal baklava, and this one too. Wow. As I said, in this part of Brazil, finding this is you you've hit the jackpot you know <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> smell of cardamom amazing i'm afraid to try it because it's a bit hot okay real turkish coffee beautiful So we tried these two, they're very good. This one especially is very moist and fresh. The only problem is from our taste. Again, we don't want to be just too opinionated, but because we have had better in Montreal, the nuts, if they were more fresh, it would have a much better taste. And uh, this one is very nice and moist. It is not dry at all, but the nuts, they could be more fresh. And the coffee is amazing. This one, there's nothing left under. For me, I think everything is in my cup. And as you might know, the Turkish coffee is supposed to be rich and have the whole powder at the bottom of your cup, like here, you see? And then some people, after you finish, they actually, they're like fortune tellers. They look at your cup, look at the shape that the powder actually makes in your cup, and they read your fortune. Whether you believe in it or not, this is something that some people actually do. I don't think anybody could read my fortune because my cup is just covered with the powder. But if you can, please give it a try. Let us know. This is 
one of the food courts uh, this shopping mall this place Madero is one of the most famous burger places in Brazil wherever you go they have a branch it's it, it says steakhouse but also they mostly have burgers and a lot of people like their burger I don't know why but in Brazil it's very popular Madero and again like any other food court in any other shopping mall in North America you have all of the other restaurants that you can imagine McDonald's Burger King all other kind of um, fast food restaurants and of course a lot of other local restaurants this is one I believe if I'm not mistaken there is one more food court also in this um, shopping mall one more thing also that is very interesting in Brazil is even in the food court at the shopping mall you can drink alcohol they can serve beer uh, in the at the food court and this for example in Montreal at least it's not normal that at the shopping mall you can have beer in the food court this is completely normal and there are also waiters that they come to your table sometimes from different restaurants and they take the order from you even though it's a food court that in North America usually you go and you order your food you take your food and go to your table in Brazil no there might be even waiters and waitresses even at the food court serving you this is another very interesting thing that I wanted to mention so we just wanted to show you this very quickly and next we are going to go to another place to show you another restaurant that we tried here in Fortaleza and now we have come to another neighborhood that is really really nice we have seen some other videos about this neighborhood and there are a lot of very nice restaurants so we're gonna walk around check out the restaurants and also decide where we're gonna go for dinner the neighborhood is called uh, Vajota so like just to know that and uh, from what I saw there is a many many restaurants and it's very like a bohemian uh, neighborhood uh, it's very active and very like busy at night this is a burger restaurant here we have a nice store for chocolate that is very famous in south of Brazil I assume, yes, no? Yes, yes, like from my time here in Brazil. <laughs> Actually chocolate and there was that was the only one. <laughs> like apparently now there is so many and uh, hopefully we are gonna visit that uh, city eventually. Yeah, this is from a city in south of Brazil that we are definitely planning to go there. I have seen some videos. It's just it's amazing. You don't even feel like you're in Brazil. It looks so European and the production of chocolate and fondue and all of that. It's very famous. There. So stay tuned for the rest of the year because that will come up also sometime later this year. There is also a nice plaza here with uh, some other stores and another restaurant here and oh to show you also this is the name of the neighborhood that mariana mentioned Vajota. it's le cuisinier ah le cuisinier le cuisinier uh, yes for sure it should it should be french from the name <laughs> restaurant is called Divina Picanha. Picanha is the cut of meat that is the most famous one here in Brazil that they do barbecue with. Divina is divine, no? Divine Picanha. I believe it's a steakhouse. The decoration is already very very divine. Beautiful. Really like it. Wow. The one across the street, Yozen Sorvete Saudável. Healthy ice cream. Go figure. 
I don't know. What is healthy ice cream, Mariana? No idea. Maybe it's vegan? Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, the whole fun of having ice cream is having ice cream that is not healthy. <laughs> With sugar and everything else. Now, this corner that is coming up, there are two very nice restaurants. There is this one, Turati. They make their Oh, okay, I didn't know. Mariana mentioned this one. They are famous because they have their own, their own beer. And there is this beautiful restaurant here. It's called Doc, or I don't know if it's D O C. But I saw some pictures online. It's an Italian restaurant. And inside, also, the decoration, everything is really, really beautiful. This restaurant on the corner apparently has a lot of typical dishes from this region. So we might actually try here to see what they have and what we can try to show you. So we came to this restaurant, it's called Carnero do Pondones, right? Yeah. So this is supposed to have a lot of typical food from this region. Um, we ordered the cheese, which is queijo quad. This cheese, uh, it's not just the cheese, they actually grill the cheese on the grill, no? So this is different, like outside of Brazil we never find this, no? Yeah, this is, I really want to show it to you guys. It's for 20 reais. And then for the main dish, we went, since we are in Brazil, we went with meat and carne salt that comes with a lot of other things like um, farofa, which is typical here. We'll show it to you guys. Vinaigrette, which is a mix of like tomato and onion, like a little salad. Um, Macaxeira frita is also cassava that they uh, fry it. Um, Bayon is what? Bayon is the mix of the farofa and meat and everything else, no? Bayon is a mix of rice and beans. Okay, mix of rice and beans. Anyway, we will show it to you guys when it comes. So, the price for this one is 94 reais and the dish is for two people. We also got a jar of uh, lemonade for Mariana and one Caterina for me, which is a typical drink in Brazil made of cachaça. This one is 11 minutes. All right, drinks arrived. This is Caipirinha and that's a jar of lemonade for Mariana. And this is the cheese. Qualio cheese that they actually grill it and it is so good. Cheese 
and they also put some uh, herbs it seems like and then they grill it like this also on both sides it's a little bit brownish <laughs> And this is the main dish. Wow. Farofa, cassava, fried meat. This is uh, vinaigrette that I talked about. It's a mix of like tomato and onion in a sauce. I believe it's like, is it white vinegar or lemon juice? Yeah, I think it's white vinegar. Yeah. And this is a mix of like rice with herbs. And underneath you have also onion, tomato. This is bayam judoi with a mix of beans and rice, which is something very typical from northeast of Brazil. Perfect. All right, we're gonna dig in. Okay, dinner at this place was done. It was actually very good, the price, like, um, two drinks for me, one jar of lemonade for Mariana and the main dish and the appetizer. Everything came up to 166 reais, which is really good you know, because the neighborhood also is trendy. We are in an area that I think there's a lot of tourists. Uh, very trendy, very nice. So 166, can't complain, very good price. So, for this part of the video for food and restaurants in Fortaleza, we are now at this restaurant, which is a very, very famous local restaurant for uh, dishes that are typical of this area. Just to show you, this is the menu of the restaurant, Pina de Feijão Verde. Feijão is the typical beans that they make in uh, Brazil, which is part of the main dish every day. But here they have their own specialty. I will show you a photo. And here it says since 1999 for this restaurant. It's very well known, very famous. The menu is a booklet, as you can see, a lot of items. But the one that is very famous and we actually ordered is this beans that it comes in like a kind of like a clay pot and it's a mix of uh, meat and uh, beans and everything once the dish comes for sure we'll show you and we also took another plate uh, for two to share we took this one right yeah, it is for 97 and 90 reais. And we also asked for a pitcher of lemonade, which is like the one on the other table. The environment also is very nice, very... Of course, like any other restaurant at the time of lunch, it's very busy and noisy, but the location and the ambiance is very nice, no? Do you approve, Madame Mariana? Perfect. Oh, All right. I'm gonna tell you later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the food I think we're gonna really, really enjoy. Well, I love being here, so. Yes. Brazilian food, you cannot go wrong with it anyway. It's always good. We also got a jar of lemonade, which is absolutely delicious. And I am really, really curious to taste this um, sauce, hot sauce, with my food. It looks very, very tempting. I'll update you on that soon. And there you have it. My God, boiling still. Wow, beautiful. The dish has cheese, 
green beans and meat and some like green vegetables but the meat that is called a dried meat here the cheese cheese here cheese here that I believe it's a coalho cheese which is something also very very uh, traditional here and the green beans also yeah I just need to wait a little bit to eat within because it's extremely hot oh yeah it's still boiling <laughs> Okay, let's try this famous dish. It's actually an appetizer, no? They use it as an appetizer or you can have it as yeah, a main dish Yeah, apparently here they brought it as an appetizer, but uh, but I find it very heavy, so I believe yeah. like you can eat with the food too. Well, sure. The cheese is so rich, it's really the, it gives a very good taste. The mix of everything, very simple ingredients, but all together and maybe cooking it in a clay pot also makes a difference. I'm gonna try the hot sauce too, just to, just to see how strong it is. I think it's strong. I can feel the smell of the hot sauce here. <laughs> yeah, like we have hot sauce um, frequently, but if you're not used to it, yes, it, it's a strong. If you put too much, very strong, but really good. Well done. That's a happy face. <laughs> it's very, very Brazilian thing. Yeah, no, like, and it's very, amazing. Yeah. Really well done. Yeah. It's a very, very Brazilian thing. So this is the main dish or the rest of the food. This is a mix of rice, beans, and I believe this is cheese, right? Cheese. And there are some green uh, herbs too. The meat. Of course, this is not Brazilian, <laughs> French fries, farofa, and vinaigrette. All looking very good and tasty. Uh, this is the same as uh, what we ate uh, the other night, also baião de doi, which is the mix of beans and rice. And this is something very, very typical from northeast of Brazil. I have been seeing this dish since uh, at least Maceió. Yeah, it's Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna dig in and again, as always, at the end we will also tell you how much was the, the bill, what the cost for all of this food. Also, while we are here, I don't know if I specifically explain to you guys what Vinaigrette is, I think in another video about food we did. It's just a mix of tomato, onion, and I believe white vinegar. Farofa is the crushed or a powder that you get from, it's a root, right? It's a root of a plant. Cassava. Cassava. Oh, cassava that you also can have it as fried, like fried uh, potato, french fries. So this, you have it always at all the restaurants in Brazil that you mix it with the meat and with everything else it gives it a nice touch and I must add in Brazil food is in general very salty and after a while your mouth gets used to the taste of having everything salty so today I just tried one of the piece of french fries and it has no salt I was actually shocked I was like, oh my god no salt at all but honestly, everything else really, really good. No, Mariana, yeah. you already tried it. It's yeah. good. Very good. Amazing. Everything. Perfect. 
All right, lunch was done. We just uh, left the restaurant. My God, I ate so much. I can barely move and breathe. The total was 195 reais. This was for the appetizer, the main dish, and two jars of lemonade with the 10% service that we always give. Um, it came up to 195 reais. Now let's head to the next place. And for the last part of the video about food and restaurants in Fortaleza, we really wanted to try this amazing coffee shop. It's a coffee shop called Santa Clara. And Santa Clara actually is a, a brand of coffee, very famous. You can buy coffee powders also that uh, the same company produces. This coffee shop is actually a train wagon. You can sit outside and you can also sit inside. We really wanted to come here and show you this place and also see it for ourselves. I think it is very, very nice. Let's see. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. So you have sitting here and it can look like a train but believe it or not there is also AC so on a day like today that is hot it's not hot in here it's only outside we're gonna definitely stay here and try some of the products they have cakes and juice and coffee so we're gonna show you the coffee and also the place beautiful so far I really like what I see. Good night. Check out the size of the menu of this coffee shop. Another booklet. Uh, you can see they have all of these products. Coffee and cappuccino and their specialties. My God, and I want all of them. <laughs> they have cold coffee, juices, and chocolate, hot chocolate and other things, tea, Croissant. Wow. And it goes on and on and on. Burger, even like lunch. Ooh, waffles. Wow. And the uh, specialties for the sweet. Wow. Amazing. Oh, and they even do events in this place. Very nice. So, I ordered the latte, Mariana ordered a cappuccino, and they have a slice of lemon cake, and this one is pineapple, right? Yeah. And they, are, they were sweet enough to write boa tarde for us, which means good afternoon. Very cute. We are going to enjoy this cake and coffee. Okay, the train trip ended, I mean the coffee shop visit <laughs> ended, but it's a very nice touch, I really liked it, and I think it was a, around 80 reais, was one latte, one cappuccino, two slices of cake, and one bottle of water, 80 reais. So this ends our 
video for food and restaurants in Fortaleza. We really hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, one thing that I just saw and that maybe it's interesting, the same uh, machine that uh, you use to pay, to tap your card or to pay, they use it's the same machine that they use to take all the orders. So I saw him, he, he was choosing the table and then uh, the table, then he was putting the orders, what we had on that table, all in the same machine. And then when you go pay it, he brings the same machine and then he closes the table, there it comes like the bill, like, and then you just tap your card, all in the same machine. Yeah, yeah That's the, the same uh, device yeah. that they use. Very nice. Very interesting. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, any questions, don't forget to leave us comments. If you have been to Fortaleza, there is another restaurant that is your favorite. Don't forget to share with us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ciao.